It's the Rhythm of the City 94.3 WYBC. I am Wanda Coppage here with another great owner that we are saluting in our YBC Yale Initiative for small black owned businesses straight out of New Haven. Now, let me tell you, when this name was passed to me, I said, oh, yes. I have to talk to this man because I love a good steak and cheese sub with some fried onions on it. This is all about Philly's A Taste of Philadelphia, downtown New Haven. His name is Shim Adams. He's the owner. How are you, Shim? I'm doing great today. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. All right. So let's talk about these subs. First and foremost, how long have you been in this location? This location, we started the middle of May, right after uh, Yale's graduation. Wow. So you are very, very new. Are you yes. from New Haven? Or are you from Philadelphia? I'm from Philadelphia, born and raised. So uh, you are bringing this authentic flavor to Connecticut. Absolutely. This isn't our first location, though. Our first location is out in Norwich. We started that back in 2012. So wow. So you're so this is expansion. Tell me about the very first one. When did that start and why did you choose Norwich for that one? Well, it was just a landing spot for me, really. I landed in uh, Connecticut in Plainfield. My mom moved there back in uh, back when I was like 18. I just just uh, got to senior year of high school. I did a couple months here in, in high school up here. Um, but I just kind of moved here from Philadelphia and started going, trying to learn the lands a little bit. I went okay. through Norwich, uh, New London, and I just okay. landed in Norwich, and it just happened to be a good location for me. Got you. And then so now do you reside in New Haven? No, no. Actually, I live in New London. You have live, live in New London. Yep. So tell me what you chose a great location. You chose a great spot. We love New Haven. Why did you choose us for the second? Oh, because I knew it had to be in Main Street, USA. It had to be in a location where we had uh we had we had customers walking by. Like and where my North location is, we're a destination. So everybody that comes there had that in mind. I'm going to go to Phillies. Here is a spot where we're right across from the freshman dorm and we just have to walk by traffic. I knew that was a uh, location that we would we really strive in. We needed that customer that didn't have us on their mind that day and just happened to see us. Let me tell you, a, a good sub is always on my mind, Shem. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 1008 Chapel Street, New Haven. Tell us about your menu. Oh, my menu's a little different. Like, like everybody calls it steak and cheese out here. Like, we do a cheese steak that's a little different. No disrespect to the, to the steak and cheeses out here. I heard some, some really good ones. But we do something a little different. Like, my sandwich is... Like my bread comes from Philadelphia. I slice ribeye here on the spot. We don't do nice. Comes. We don't do like the, the the steak coming off the white paper on mm -hmm. the grill. We're slicing it right there on the spot. We're slicing a, a, a top grade of ribeye, so you taste it right off the rip. My bread, like I said, is from Philadelphia, and then the rest is just special ingredients that we add to it. Okay. And do you do like I hear Philly does cheese whiz? Is that something that you do on your? Now, look, so that's that's a, a, a common misconception. Like, okay, the tourist, the tourist spots in Philadelphia do cheese whiz. Now we do do cheese whiz, but you don't have to have it. So a lot okay. of people think they're coming here. They're like, oh, I want to get a cheese that you're putting cheese whiz on it. You put American on it, provolone on it, it's whatever you want. We'll do whatever you want here. Nice. But you do have the option to get it with the cheese whiz as well. Okay, I might have to try both. I don't know. We're we're gonna see. Well, let me tell you this. Like, let me tell you this. A, a lot of people are scared of it. They think it's like the spray cheese on crackers. Like, right. It's not that. It's more like Velveeta. It's got okay. a really good taste, and it's, it's it really complements the ribeye really well. What are your hours? Right. Uh, we're doing ten to ten. Ten uh, to ten. Sunday to sun, Sunday to Monday. Nice. Sunday to, uh, Saturday. Now the the cheesesteak that's the only thing on the menu. What else do you have on your menu? Oh no no no, we got other stuff. Uh, we got we we have steaks, cheesesteaks. We have chicken steaks. Uh, we also have a bunch of loaded fries that are really popular. We have a buffalo chicken fry that everybody goes crazy over. Um, we also have nachos. We also have some of the best egg rolls on the planet. You got to try those. We we stuff the egg rolls with ribeye steak and, and and cheese whiz and provolone, and you can't go wrong. Jesus. And we also have a crazy dessert that everybody loves too it's called fried philly bread and I've, I've seen people drive states away for this nice if you're just tuning in his name is shem adams he's the owner of philly's a taste of philadelphia which is what you're going to get because he's actually from philadelphia they are on chapel street downtown new haven right in the heart of new haven you're actually right up the street from our studio we're located oh, wow. on temple so you know i'm coming through oh are, are we gonna come see you either way Oh, come on with the steak egg rolls. Right. I'm with it, Shim. <laughs> so let me ask you this. 
What's taking up? it back a step for an entrepreneur standpoint, what made you go into business for yourself? And what was the most difficult part of doing so? Um, I just think I've always been an entrepreneur. Um, like as far back as I can remember, I used to, I used to cut your grass. I, you see me all throughout the year. I cut your grass. I shovel your snow. I could cut hair. I would cut your hair. Uh, I used to, I used to hunt frogs and tadpoles. I sell you <laughs> frogs and tadpoles. Like I was always trying to make money as a youngster. Anybody that tell you that, that knew me that that's what it was. I was always about. Um, and it just translated once I got to Connecticut. It was, I felt freer because in Philadelphia it's so condensed and there's so many people trying to do what you're trying to do. And yeah. so when I got to Connecticut, it was just kind of more wide open. And, and when I landed in Norwich, it was, it was really wide open. And now coming to New Haven, it's not as wide open. There's a lot right. of competition here. But I already got my kind of foot locked in. So, And I've already, already created a brand that people kind of know. So that's that's mainly for me. Like, it works out. Like, that's just who I am inside is to, is to take a brand and try to make it go kaboom. Like, that's got what, you. That's just, I have no doubt that you will go kaboom because right. we, we love it. We love a good sandwich. We love it. And it's black owned. We're doing our part. We're going to support small black owned businesses. That's what this initiative is all about. Uh, again, this is downtown New Haven, Chapel Street. His name is Shem. He's the owner of Phillies, A Taste of Philadelphia. That's what you're going to get. He already gave us the menu. I'm coming for the egg rolls. I'm coming. I'm listening. You're going to get sick of seeing you. my face. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Any final words you want to leave with us, Shin, before we wrap it up? Um, I just want to thank the city of New Haven. It's, it's been amazing right now. Like, the, the love, the it's so authentic, too. It's not like, you know, like, I've just been a lot of places before, and I get different kind of loves. This one here feels a lot different. And I just want to thank the people here for actually supporting me and bringing me in and letting me be part of them. Because that, that's, a, that's tough for to me for another city to embrace another city, you know. Like that's we're Phillies in the middle of New Haven right now. So with that said, it, that's that's tough, and, it, and for them to do that, I it, it warms my heart to, to even be. Uh, about it's it. all love. It's all love. It's all love, and I love it. And welcome to New Haven. All right, you know Thank what you, you have to do: get down and get something to eat from a taste of Philadelphia. Phillies steak and cheese, cheese steak. We're probably gonna start saying cheese steak too. Hey, after please, please, please do, please do. <laughs> Keep it locked in. This has been a great conversation. Make sure you go check him out. I'm Wanda Coppage. More great music is still in the way. It's WYBC, the rhythm of the city.